rabbit ornament, I take a little bit of my caramel colored dough, a little bit of the leftover dough that I had already marbleized, and just a little bit of black. Whenever you use black, don't ever use too much because it'll turn the whole thing very muddy. What I'm going to do is just take these together, roll them out into a log, and then I'm going to cut them. Place on top of each other. Roll them out again. And keep on cutting them until I expose enough of the surface areas that I like. And what it starts to do is gives you this nice sort of veining in your dough. Then you can twist a little bit, fold it. And then when you like the color patterns that you have, like we did in our previous one, just cut little segments off. And here we go with the same thing again. Put a little flour in your hand so it doesn't stick. Roll this into a ball, getting a nice surface area. Dip it in a little bit of flour. And then push it over a little bunny right here. Then we peel it out of the mold. There we have the little bunny. Then what I do is I just take the cookie cutter again and trim around it. Here we're going to sheet these three doughs out together. Again, I would recommend just stacking the three colors together. If you use too much green, it turns things very muddy. So a little bit more yellow, white, and green. Take the three layers, push them flat. Then what we do is we take the dough again, roll it up. And then with a knife, we cut it, exposing those nice circular patterns. Then we take these and push them together. Using these nice spring colors, using it together with the rabbit motif, cutting this shape out of it removing it, placing it over here, taking an oval cutter this time, making a little window in it, and then taking that and laying it around the bunny. And then with my marzipan tool, I just connect the side. When you do this, you want to do this fairly quickly. That way you don't have to add any liquid so that the two units stick together. And then the last thing I do is punch a hole to the top so that I can hang it. Cut out the center and then place it around the image. And again, with this tool, just making sure that it is fastened to the edge This works great if you're doing these in a production environment and you have some time to make these. It works great if you have two people working on it. That way, one person can cut out the plain discs and the other one can cut out the colored ones so that you don't have to use any glue to stick the two units together. And then again, we cut a little hole on the top to make our hanger. What we have here right now is a little bit of yellow and red that's been marbleized and worked together and some green and some leftover of the black, brown, yellow, and red. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little face with this. So again, like before, work it into a nice round ball. Get a little bit of flour on the surface. Clean it off. 
then we're going to press that into this little face mold. Once it's all done, pull it on out. You have a nice little face. And then we go to cut, clean cut around it. And then we take a little bit of this marbleized and lay this on top of here. And then with your fingers, you're just going to pinch these ends real quick. And next what we do is we take a little bit of the green and again, we do this underneath the plastic and we have a little holly leaf we go and cut. If this becomes too painful of a process, you can use a tool to press on top of. Afterwards, you remove the holly leaves and you place them So we take a little bit of red dough, we make little berries out of it, and we place them on top where the leaves come together. And then we take our cutter to make a hole up on top so we have a place to hang it. When you spray things, you wanna be careful to cover your entire surface because you don't want any shellac on your work surfaces. It's better to do a couple of applications than one heavy one. So just spray and then let that dry. If you flip them over, you will get a much longer shelf life on all of these products. So that we can use these tags. I'd like to use raffia as my string. You can use other string, obviously. And what you're gonna do is thread them through from the back, pull the loop through, and take the ends and pass it through, and then pull it tight.